Four-year-old Fiorella Arcos has been going to Fraser and Egan since she was two. That's when a family friend alerted her parents that she might have autism. She told us, it's something wrong with your daughter because she doesn't have eye contact and uh, she goes and plays by herself. Her dad says she was developing normally but started regressing after she turned two. It used to be super hard. Uh, she used to get mad, you know, from playing outside, coming back inside. It, it was uh, tantrums all the time. When a second baby joined the family, Christian and his wife Carla identified early signs that he too had autism. There are times. Christian Jr. didn't respond when they called his name and he preferred to play alone. Through the process, we learned how to deal with this. Because it's hard, of course it's hard. It's not easy. I, I, I won't lie to anyone, this is not easy. He says therapists at Fraser have helped Fiorella become more verbal and handle transitions better. And they're now working with Christian Jr. The couple is also part of a parent support group. Things get better and better. Your kid to be healthy in every way, mm -hmm. mentally and physically. But it doesn't happen all the time. Angela Davis, WCCO 4 News. Your donations will help Fraser offer more services like this. A $100 donation provides one hour of family skills training. And right now, your donations are going to be doubled. Central Roofing is matching donations up to $5,000 right now. Again, the number's on your screen. It's 1-800-542-9226. That is 1-800-542-WCCO. And after that, we hope you're going to join us for the big battle across the Mississippi River, pulling together Saturday, September 8th at Hidden Falls Regional Park. And we have a lot of information available at WCCO.com slash pulling together.